you know, seeing what was happening in Sandy Studios was concerning and definitely was one of the reasons that my office felt like we needed to dig into this. 26 getting results after an investigation from our Elise Haas into government funded housing project in Portland sparked a county level audit. Her report on Sandy Studios revealed dangerous living conditions like black mold and a collapsed ceiling. And this prompted government officials to audit the Joint Office of Homeless Services for health and safety concerns. So the Multnomah County Auditor ended up calling it off after she deemed their data unreliable. Elise Haas once again digging deeper into this issue and what exactly it means for taxpayers. Elise, you have stayed on top of this issue for some time. I have it. It's safe to say that homelessness is a number one issue for many residents in Multnomah County. And the auditor says that it's important to know if our tax dollars are being used effectively, but she says that relies on having good data. In a recently issued memo, the Multnomah County Auditor's Office says the Joint Office of Homeless Services has reported on enrollment in programs and services as representing placement into housing, citing this as a significant internal control deficiency. We would have liked it to have really been clear, this is people newly placed into programs, not this is people placed into housing. Without that explicit transparency, the auditor estimates their data overstates their success rate of permanent housing for the homeless by 20%. Meanwhile, the joint office estimates the data is off by 10%. Either way, there's still big gaps. The auditor points to federal government guidance since 2018 is to differentiate the project start date from the housing move-in date for better data points on housing the homeless. We were gonna work to put that into place um, and started that work actually a couple years ago. The pandemic slowed that, unfortunately. Um, it's not simple. The spokesperson for the joint office says before the audit, they had the ball rolling on this data reporting change, and it already went into practice this summer. This is not something that got discovered and that we were, you know, oh my goodness, we weren't doing the right thing. We were making that move on our own, and it took longer than we would have liked, but we were there, and it's already up and operational. The joint office did say that they were looking to report differently. But... The auditor says the joint office didn't alert her staff to the detail that their data points labeled placement into housing at the time actually meant people were merely starting to seek their services. And I think that same kind of transparency is important on this issue, on any issue, but especially something that so many people are concerned about and that we're putting so much money into. And as Portland's homeless crisis has peaked in this pandemic. And it is also important to note that the auditor doesn't assume that there was any malice or intent to mislead. And the joint office says that, yes, they were slow to make this change, but that they were just continuing to follow an industry standard that had been in place for decades. But next, the auditor is planning on conducting another audit that solely focused on the Joint Office of Homeless Services data intake. So I'll continue to follow that in the months to come, but the Joint Office says that they welcome the interest and any input she has for improvement. Reporting live in South Portland, Elise Haas, Coin 6 News. Elise, thanks for that report.